What up, here with another mixtape review, man. Trying to knock these shits out. Glizzy Gang would be careful. Y'all already know. Um, group member Shy Glizzy, Ant Glizzy, Snipe Glizzy, Plies Glizzy. You know, um, I think Dirty Glizzy, or Quit Glizzy, whatever the fuck they name is. But anyway, this shit ain't got no features. 16 joints. It took me like probably two days to listen to this whole shit. Y'all already know it's street shit. Drug dealing, all that other good shit, so it ain't no lyrical shit in here, so you're looking for witty lines, bars, funny little metaphors, and some dope-ass production. The first track, DC, it is, intro, is from the Payton Fool movie, you know what I mean? So that's pretty dope. Welcome to the mob. Shit knock hella hard, bro, like that shit go dumb. From the get-go, number three, hard beat, street lyrics is dope, you know what I mean? Butter Rim, I fuck with that. Plenty Paper, that song was alright, it could have been better, I didn't really like the, uh, fucking production on that joint. Don't Tell Me, street niggas should fuck with that, you know what I mean, nobody wanna get told on. Actors, I think we all know a lot of them, rather it be male or female, a lot of people act like, you know what I mean, they act as something that they're not. Block Boys, that shit dumbass slap. X-Pop, a dope hook, it made me think of, uh, Degeneration X, when I heard it, I was like, x pop what the fuck they going with this? But you gotta listen to it, it's pretty dope. Ain't the same, I fuck with that joint heavy, you know what I mean? Going down in VIP number 11 and 12, I thought that was okay. Production and like the flows could have been a little better. Blast Off, that shit dope. I love the hook on, I like the hook on that. Street content, of course. Problems, is alright. Um, we got plenty, that shit go hard as fuck. And last track, I did it. This beat is crazy dope, you know what I'm saying? But overall, I feel like, you know, Glizzy and his crew, you know what I mean? They making waves and everything. Like, you got to look at it. It's not really a lot of crews in hip-hop really like that no more as far as, you know what I mean? So you got Glizzy Gang and you got, uh, you know, people that come in and put their they crew on. It's not a lot of that shit. So I, I'm glad to see that it's a new wave of that coming in the game. And it should be more people putting their crew on and shit. But I feel like when you... Pit on people like you got BSB, you got Glizzy Gang. Yo niggas got to be able to keep up with you or even surpass you so that you can kick back if you like, you know, run the label and everything and your artists are, you know, go get that paper. But at the end of the day, it still was cool. 8 out of 10. I like 12 out of 16 records. Production about 8 out of 10. Like I said, the production on this motherfucker was dope. You know what I mean? If this was a solo uh, Shy Glizzy project, this shit would have went through the roof. You know what I mean? But... I don't even know if a lot of people fuck with Shy Glizzy, you know what I mean? I remember when they said him had beef with uh, Fat Trail or some shit like that, or Lil Durk or whatever, Chief Keef, now whoever the fuck it was. That shit was crazy. But if y'all know about that, let me know, because I never understood that little riff they had. Why was he beefing with Fat Trail? And why would the fuck was he beefing with Sosa and them? Because I remember when Capo had said, fuck with Shy Glizzy or some shit. I'm like, whoa, nigga, what are you talking about? You can't even rap past 50 Tyson, nigga, what are you talking about, this nigga crazy, kill yourself, nigga, but I was like, I guess, you know what I mean, but y'all let me uh, know what y'all think about this project, I'm just trying to knock these motherfuckers out, yeah.